Clínica del doctor Sergio Díaz. Eh, la pregunta es, ¿cómo conoció a Ánica? Eh, ¿Cuál fue el diagnóstico que le dio? ¿Qué nos puede okay. decir sobre ella? Yo conocí a Ánica cuando ya tenía tres días de vida. Ánica uh -huh. eh, es una niña con un síndrome de Down, por motivo por el cual los pediatras del Hospital de las Américas en ese entonces me llamaron para una evaluación cardíaca. Uh -huh. Ya que los niños con síndrome de Down, un 50% pueden tener enfermedades del corazón. Eh, bajo esta sospecha se hizo un ecocardiograma, el cual demostró que tenía un defecto del tabique atroventricular, o bien un canal atroventricular tipo A de Rastel y balanceado, los ventrículos estaban de buen tamaño. Uh -huh. Y un ductus arterioso. Eh, posteriormente le di seguimiento al caso, me llamaba la atención que la presión pulmonar ya estaba elevada, y sabiendo que estos niños generalmente se tenían que operar en, antes de los 6 meses, eh, se ofreció tratamiento quirúrgico, se habló con ambos padres y ellos sugirieron y estuvieron de acuerdo en irse a, a Noruega uh -huh. y fue lo que se, que se hizo. Uh -huh. eh, así fue como yo eh, conocí a Annika, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé si tienes algún otro. Creo que con favor. eso estamos bien, gracias. organization who helps kids that can afford therapies and kids who can't afford therapies. So here's her place. So I'm going to show you where Anika comes to therapy. Okay. Here's our gym. We have physical therapy in this place. We make a lot of uh, circuits of stimulation with the blocks. And let's go inside. We have here the reception. We have all the lines on the floors because we teach kids to follow a certain line to go to a certain classroom. Because we always tell them, um, wait for us in the classroom, and they don't know which classroom is. <laughs> so we're going to follow the blue line first. This is our classroom number one. So in here we have um, speech therapy and occupational therapy. We have a lot of games for little kids at a table. We also use this timer so we can um, count the activities and we tell each kid we have 10 minutes to do this and do that. So when we put the time, a red line comes in and when the time passes, it makes a sound so kids know what time is it and what, how much time they have left. Mm -hmm. So in here we have our PEX board, we have schedules for the kids and we make a routine for them of what are we working in, in this day and then we take it off and we put it away. We also have our prices chart, so we kids are working for a balloon for example mm -hmm. and each activity we pay the kid a coin so they start having a reward for their effort and at the end of the therapy they take all the coins away and they buy us their price with their effort. <laughs> and on the yellow line we have classroom number two. Ooh. This is the city classroom. We have a lot of charts, it's more like numbers. So in here we have kids that have more learning disabilities because the table is also high and we have the bean bags. They love sitting in the big bag in the bean bag and we have puzzles. We make a lot of activities in this room. Mm -hmm. And our green line. Mm -hmm. This is Lillian, another therapist. Hi. Hi. <laughs> This is our library. We never use it as a library, it's another therapy room. <laughs> <laughs> and we tell kids stories, we make um, physical therapy exercises. And 
We also have these benches. These benches are special for therapists. They um, have different heights and they turn like, like this. In. So we use them a lot. We have this positioning chair for kids that they don't know how to sit down correctly. We also have a TV and movies. Movies is a big, uh, a big price for them. <laughs> we gave them, we, we let them watch a little bit of a movie after a hard week of therapy. Okay. And in the back we have our garden. We have a hammock that is for working for vestibular activities and balancing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.